Uh, okay. Since it is not, it will not harm the people of the <laughs> harm the human realm. Seeing him single hand, <laughs> single mindedly, uh, put himself in danger for the sake of the the people of the demon tribe. I. I have no choice but to. By stealing the uh, my, uh, stealing the cauldron of Sennong and have and having to die uh, be died and buried here this was all I brought this all upon myself but I still it's just that little sister Big sis, big sis. Jiejie,曹古师都说，折剑山庄发来了今年品鉴大会的帖子，他准备让我和铁笔师兄一起去呢。Ah, uh, uh, anyway, this is Lingying. She's remembering a memory. We we've already seen met her before. She's so young. Lingying says, "Big sister, <laughs> Si Bo Chaogu said that the Zhejian <laughs> Mountain Villa said." Has sent over an invitation for this year's sword appraisal convention. Let's see. So she's preparing to have me and Sushou Tiebi go together. Go there together. There you go. Ding Bo says, Is that so? That's wonderful. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I have never, I've never gone to those, this kind of martial arts convention before. Who knows what kind of, <laughs> who knows what kind of situ, uh, spectacle it will be. Uh, well, if I were to do something inappropriate, then I will be in the, I'll be embarrassing the name of Shu Mountain, and that will be, that would be bad. I hope their sword convention isn't cancelled like every other. Oh, well, it already happened, so they can't cancel it. Ho oh, ho. Uh -huh. Ling Bo says, "Let's see. This is your first time representing our <laughs> representing our sect in front of the." <laughs> oh. In front of into in a martial arts event, so of course, so it's so it's understandable if you're nervous. Don't worry, just act like you do normally. Tomorrow, I will be going down the mountain to slay some monsters, and I'll be. I'll be gone for for quite a few days. I'm afraid that I might miss the day you are to set out. After we return to the mountain, I after I return the mountain, I'll definitely make sure to listen well to you. Uh, listen well to you uh, to you talking about the sword appraisal convention, or what ha talk about what happened at the sword appraisal convention. All right. Then, big sister, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> and go talk with Su Shou Tiebi about <laughs> about the convention. <laughs> Once you've come back, you too have to tell me about what about all the interesting things that happened while you were down the mountain. That you or like all the interesting things that you ran into when you were down into down the mountain. Can we tell me around the mountain ways? Oh, well. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I. 
still do not regret. And that's it. And that's how she died. She was too injured and she could not survive. Lingbo has left the party. Wait, <laughs> I can still be here? All right, well, we lost a party member. Can I go back? I'm just curious, just for... What happens if I try to go back? I will return quickly. No, he won't go back, of course. That would be a time paradox. <laughs> he is not supposed to know that, that she's dead. Yeah, she's out of the party permanently, so... I mean, she had her gears not all that... I never gave her very interesting gear to begin with. Oopsies. Uh-oh. Right. Long Ming says, So the divine power, so the power of the three sovereigns really is, isn't to be trifled with. If I do not go at the utmost speed back to the demon realm to recover, this wound will, this wound will only continue to worsen. Mm, I see. Ah, from what I can see, oh, the egg, the eggs on my island go away. I know I'm having that trouble too. I see. Long Ming says, I see. From, from the what I, from the survey, what I can, from what I can tell, let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. From what I can see, and if, <clears throat> and if I have the help of the elder Moi, Moi, if I want to cure her wound, the amount of, the amount of energy that must be spent. Let's see. Will make it so that I will not be able to use the art of cross. The art of uh, let's see, the art of crossing for some time. Basically, as teleportation technique. Oh, with my current can Oh, I'm silly. What am I thinking? I read this as a Zhuang Kuang instead. Sorry. Let's see. New looking at my current condition. Even with. <coughs> Let's see. He's basically saying like it, even the the time the power spent to cure her will mean like um. Will mean he can't teleport, so that will slow him down a lot because his teleportation. Is really powerful. Is really useful. Uh, what are you gonna do, man? I know you gotta get this cauldron back there. So he's gonna summon more. Your Highness, for you to have suddenly summoned me, it must mean that there has been some development regarding the divine artifact. I have already I have already obtained the cauldron of Shennong. Shennong Ding Yi Chu De. Wu I know. Say it sounds so evil. <laughs> anyway, Mo Yi says, "You've already obtained the cauldron of Shennong. <laughs> Our tribe has finally has seen." Uh, Fortune has finally smiled upon our tribe. Our race. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going now to the to the dissension point to obtain the water spirit orb. That that point, <laughs> or like the secret area. Every time I hear the Shennong, I think of the instant ramen bread. Oh, right. Is there a- wait. 
Oh, is it? Or oh, is it Nongshim, right? Nongshim is the brand you're talking about, the Korean brand, right? <laughs> no, Korea. Anyway, he's saying that the dissension, the dissension point is full of a of a me, is filled with a miasma. Perhaps you'll be. Perhaps you can be of aid. You received the wound. Oof. Ah, ik. Uh, so I have. Shen Long Ding, remember, you are better than the Right. Let's see. Since you have already obtained the Shen Long, the Cauldron of Shen Long, you sh perhaps you should hide your tracks, and for the. And for the moment, you must recover. Uh, for the moment, recover, and wait till after this. After the let's see. After the pursuit, the pursuit by Shu Mountain has subsided, and then make plans, and then concoct the plan. There you go. No, I cannot delay. I cannot delay. It. Any further, otherwise, Ling. Let's see. Let's see. There's something. So something happened. Did something happen to that Shu Mountain's disciple? Right, let's see. Elder, with, <coughs> with regard to that matter, I have my own plan. <coughs> Excuse me. I know, what was he thinking? I get that he's so eager McBeaver. Yeah, this is a little bit of a, one of those weird themes. They had to leave behind some plot holes. It's true, like he's acting like normally he would think he'd be... Well, I guess he was pretty careless before, but... He, there's no... There's literally no rush if you... Like, you would think that he would think about... Like, for such a scheming guy, he would actually plan to like... Hey, you know, I'm kind of injured, so let's go heal Lingbo first. And then, like, I'm going to rest and not try to use the art of crossing and then like like he should just follow what Moi was saying honestly Moi was like you know you, you really should rest you know right now they're on your pail and that's no good anyway Lo Ming says Elder regarding this matter I have my own pl <coughs> plan let's see I will now use the art of crossing to go immediately towards the dissension point you should hurry and and meet me there yeah, it's kind of stupid. He's acting really reckless, and it's like, I get that. You have the cauldron now. This is now your time. You have the cauldron. You got away. No one knows where you are. You should just hide here. And like, that's why he was thinking like, I can take care of the secret, the dissension point stuff in one day. And he was like, I can come back and save her, which is like, dude, what are you doing? Like, oh, such poor planning. This is a bad idea, and now she's gonna die. That was a mistake. Oops! Well, it doesn't matter anyway. It's not like he's gonna see her again. Oh, here's Kumu, who's also Moi. Oh, here they come. Oh, crap. Uh, let's see. Sifu, this is Xu Cheng. He says, he says, according to the informant, Jiang Cheng, uh, Jiang Cheng has hidden himself in the uh, in the headquarters of the mountain thieves. That's not far from here. Not far ahead. Oh, 
Let's see. Huang Fu Yiming says, Very well. Once it has gotten dark, we will go to those, that den of thieves. We must and we must not let Jiang Cheng r run away. Let's see. Uh, this disciple of Huang Fu says, Shi Xiong, this place is so des- uh, is This place is so desolate. Even, if, uh, even a human wouldn't be able to stay here. Do you really think that Jiang Cheng is hiding here? That Jiang Cheng is not <laughs> the other one, this is a higher, uh, more senior stu st disciple, and he says like, That Jiang Cheng isn't, isn't a human. Yes, he says that the people of the village have The senior disciple says, let's see, And the villagers of the Bixi village did say that the mountain thieves that... <laughs> They here are all have strange appearances, so there's a highly likely chance there's some kind of monsters or demons. From what I can tell, that information can be trusted. It seems that that information can be trusted. And the disciples say, Ah, oh, yeah, Shi Xiong, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh, this, these guys. Uh, the senior disciple says, Last time, we let Jiang Chen escape right from our... Uh, right from the entrance of our... Uh, of the manor. And so... Uh, and so we of the Huang Fu family were... Received... A, uh, let's see. I'm trying to say it in a nice... In a way that makes sense in English. Like, received like causing the Huang Fu, uh, our Huang Fu family to receive a great amount of shame. Let's see. This time we will definitely capture Jiang Chen and we'll let the the Ouyang fa all those people in the Ouyang family understand how uh, the feeling of disgrace. Oh jeez. Oh, Jiang Chen, this to this. Oh, he doesn't actually laugh. Okay. Kumu says, say, Jiang Cheng, the chess pieces have already come to this, uh, have already been moved to this point. I really, uh, I, let's see, I really am anticipating what, what the time when checkmate arrives. And he doesn't laugh, so I won't laugh either. Jiang Jun, bing! Ah, here we are back in Shu Mountain again. Let's see. <laughs> Chang Lan says, oh, We really got. Uh, we were really, uh, really placed in a lot of trouble by, uh, by them. Da Xiao Yi. I know you would think they would overheat in the evil robes. Isn't there the, and you would think the demon robe is suffering from a heat problem, so you think they would be <laughs> You would think that they wouldn't wear some but I guess they have to. <laughs> oh man. Chang Lan says, Young Master <laughs> Let's see. As for where we can fi find find Long Ming and Ling Bo, do you have some kind of Ideas. Right. I see. Earlier, even though we we saw Long Ming twice, or we met Long Ming twice, but in Korania and the the illusory woodpath and in the illusory woodpath. We were definitely unable to see, just to see just how treacherous and malicious he was, or like, I I was thinking like, we could, we definitely could not have tell, uh, we could have to uh, tell um, determined just how uh, treacherous 
that he would be able to do something so treacherous and malicious, or he would be able to be so treacherous and malicious. There you go. 能将自己真实面目掩饰得如此之深，此人必然心机深沉，行事缜密，一举一动都该有其深意。Really? <laughs> I want to think. Yeah, I know. I was like, wait, you're saying he's meticulous? I don't know. The actions he just did doesn't seem very smart. <laughs> But anyway, let's see. To be able to hide his true, his true face to it. <laughs> let's see. Uh, so, uh, oh, like, let's see. To be able to hide so well his true thing, his true face, or his true nature, that person he must definitely be someone who was, he must definitely be very scheming, and so uh, one who mo who makes moves with meticulous care. Let's see, and every move he makes, there is always some kind of deep thought behind it. I want to. I would agree with you up to this point, except just now his planning was just slipshod. It was just like, what was he doing? So I know it's kind of funny that we just basically said like he just like threw away. He just made a crappy plan just now, and like here we're praising him for being so good at planning. Lol. 这么说，我们前几天在幻木小镇那儿遇见他。他说是为了救朋友去采草药，会不会也是诓我们的 ？Let's see. So what you're saying is a few days ago when we met him in the like, <coughs> let's see. So what you're saying is days ago when we met him in the illusory wood path, when he said he was getting gathering herbs to save save a friend, could he have been dis deceiving us? 有这个可能。回想起来。他那天应该是故意奉承杰罗，向他套了不少苗疆的消息，恐怕又是在打什么鬼主意。Right, that is a possibility. Let's see. Now that I think about it, that day he was definitely trying to, <laughs> trying to flatter Jieluo, and ha, <laughs> and trying to obtain information.、Uh, let's see. And she was able to obtain quite a lot of information about Miaojiang from her. I'm afraid that he might be catching some kind of,、uh, some kind of a cursed plot. 嗯，对，他问了好多神将秘境的事，不会又想进去偷人家的宝贝吧？嗯、mm, ，Right. He was asking a lot about the about the dissension point. Let's see. It couldn't be that he's trying. He's still thinking of going in there to steal some kind of treasure. 说起来。在幻木小径与龙明的相遇，真是偶然了。若是龙明故意为之，那他又是如何得知我们会前往该处？难道是有人泄露我们的行踪 ？Right. And poor, yeah, poor Long Ming is just getting screwed over by the force plot. It's true they're trying to. I know they were trying so hard to connect to the next game, but they had to make him stupid to do it. Oh, ah,、oh, oh, this game. In some ways, this almost makes me like. Le honestly, Legend of Zelda Fairy Five story might actually be better told. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I, I don't know. I I'll just keep talking for now.、Uh, keep retranslating. Jing Xuan says, "Now that I, now that we're thinking, I think about it. Let's see. When we were at the illusory wood path, and oh sorry, when we met Long Ming at the end." Illusory wood path, path was that really co a coincidence? If Long Ming was do was doing that,、uh, was there intentionally? Then how did he know where that we were be heading toward that area? Could it be that he has someone who is who is、uh, let, let's see who he has someone who is revealing our pa our tr、uh, like our tracks? The story of the game is pretty good. Long as it, yeah, it makes me so sad and kind of angry too. I know it's just kind of like,、hmm? could there be someone informing him about our, <laughs> our um, I was like, not our journey, our, 
our movements. There you go. Movements. Good thing of it. At that time, we were <laughs> we were just going to Miaojiang at the spur of the moment. The only person that could have known about that is da da da. I mean, like, yeah, the story. This this game, like, generally, it's been pretty good. It's a little long-winded, to be honest. That's really my only real. Oh, how could that be? I must be overthinking it. Huh. Be careful, Jing Xuan. Remember how being naive is not a good thing. Yeah. Being... Dude, you're, you're a smart guy. Don't doubt your own instincts. Because unfortunately, people in this world are willing to do what it takes. Huh. <sighs> From what Miss Jello said that day, the dissension point <laughs> is filled with the miasma, so even a poison expert like her has no way of staying there for very long. And also, the Taoist Lingbo was is injured, so it would be very difficult for them. <laughs> them to enter there. So I'm afraid it'll be very difficult for them to enter. But... See, since it seems like we have no other clues, and the, <laughs> and the Shu Mountain <laughs> disciples are searching, uh, are searching around the area, uh, around this area, we should go ahead to go ahead and ask around in the Blue Wood Village. Perhaps we might be able to get some results. Oh, y'all thinking is Changlan working for Longming? Hmm. All right, we have another letter and another letter. Oh, goody, two side quests. No, not here. Greenwood, sorry. I don't know why. I keep thinking it's blue because of Japanese. Oh my goodness gracious. Qinglong. Is Qinglong blue or green? I think he's green, right? But then sometimes he's blue. Ah. Uh, Alright, let's go to the library. Zola. Sorry, I get confused. The so to tell you why, because the word they use for in Chinese, which also serves to be the word for green, it's not the modern word; it's the ancient word. And funny, unfortunately, in Japanese, it's still used, and it's it's a word for blue, but um, it's ao in Japanese, and it's ching in Mandarin, but ching is means green, so. But an owl means blue, so you can see why sometimes I get a little confused. <laughs> oh no, what happens when you're, when you're trying to learn multiple languages? Not a good time. Yeah, Qinglong is generally blue, so that also doesn't help too. It's kind of weird how it's kind of like morphed the words meaning. It was blue and now it was green and now, yeah. Yeah, the Azure Dragon, because Qinglong is definitely blue most of the time. Qinglong, uh, Qinglong is the you'll know him if you watch your anime. You'll know him as Seiru, and it's the same word. It's just pronounced in Japanese. It's the same two characters, Qinglong and Seiru. Yeah, and I think yeah Japanese people like seem to like the four cardinal beasts a lot too. I'm not sure why that became. Yeah, Tang is so I know right. Yeah, because in man in co ma modern day we don't use Qing that word anymore. We use Lan and uh, Lu, Lan for blue and Lu for green. So that's why. All right, we're here for more of the embroidered letter and a difficult letter. Oh, no voice. Okay, fine. Let's see. Taoist. Why isn't each one? Or like, let's see. Oh, Taoist. Why? 
Oh, is Ichun missing today? 